Catherine, the new Princess of Wales, carried the notable items of her late mother-in-law Diana to a historic event of her father-in-law Charles in London on Tuesday. Catherine joined Prince William in welcoming South African President Cyril Ramaphosa at the Corinthia Hotel on Tuesday morning as the first ever state visit in the reign of King Charles III kicked off. The Prince and Princess looked in high spirits as they met the South African leader before accompanying him to Horse Guards Parade where the King and Queen Consort were waiting for their guest of honour under a dais. On her first state visit as Princess of Wales, Catherine appeared prominently in a purple ensemble, including a hat, gloves and heels. Meanwhile, her husband wore a dark suit with a tie matching the colour of his wife's outfit. Both William and Catherine travelled with Mr Ramaphosa to Horse Guards Parade, where the Guard of Honour, compromised of the No. 7 Company Coldstream Guards and the Household Cavalry, were in attendance. Upon their arrival at Horse Guards Parade, William and Catherine let the King take the lead and greet his guests. Together, Charles and Mr Ramaphosa viewed the Royal Salute performed by the Guard of Honour and listened to the South African Anthem. While Camilla, who wore a blue coat and hat, looked on, King Charles accompanied the President in his inspection of the Guard of Honour. The King and Queen Consort later departed in the Irish State Coach with the President of South Africa, which brought them through the Mall to the destination of Buckingham Palace. They were followed by Catherine and Prince William, who, joined by Dr Nalidi Pandor, Minister for International Relations and Cooperation in South Africa, closed the distance between Horse Guards Parade and the Palace aboard the Australian state coach. This was the first carriage procession to take place in the Mall, with Charles as the monarch of the country and head of the Commonwealth. Upon reaching the palace, they were met by a second guard of honour, found by 1st Battalion Coldstream Guards, while at the Tower of London, a 62-round gun salute was fired by the Honourable Artillery Company Regiment to mark the President's visit. Despite looking very regal, the most notable parts of Catherine's look were the sentimental accessories. For her first state visit as the Princess of Wales, Catherine nodded to her mother-in-law and predecessor Diana with key items from her jewellery collection. The standout was the drop pearl earrings by the jeweller Collingwood. They were given to Diana prior to joining the royal family and quickly became an important part of her royal wardrobe. Most often she was seen wearing the earrings with the Queen Mary's Lover's Knot tiara as both feature elongated drop pearls of similar shape. She wore both as she joined the then Prince Charles to a dinner at Washington DC's British Embassy on November 11, 1985. The new Princess of Wales has long been a fan of this pair herself and has worn them countless times at her most special engagements. This included the 2018 State Banquet to welcome King Willem Alexander of the Netherlands to Britain, where she also paired them with the Queen Mary Tiara. Catherine also wore the earrings for her 40th birthday portrait taken by Paolo Reversi. The princess also wore the feather pendant as a brooch on her left lapel, which features 18 diamonds surrounded by small emeralds, a larger emerald drop and three ostrich feathers in the centre. Diana was given the brooch for her marriage in 1981 and wore it as a diamond necklace to many state banquets, often paired with her Collingwood pearls. It was a touching way for the Princess of Wales to step into her new role on a day when the government will discuss trade and economic improvements with a South African leader. The King summoned Mr Ramaphosa to a private lunch at the palace, after which he invited him to see an exhibition of South African-related objects from the Royal Collection in the Picture Gallery. After paying his respects at the Tomb of the Unknown Warrior at Westminster Abbey, the President went on to a tour and stopped by the Memorial of Nelson Mandela, the South African leader from 1994 to 1999. After that, Mr Ramaphosa was due at the the Palace of Westminster, where he was welcomed by the Speaker of the House of Commons and the Lord Speaker, before delivering an address in the Royal Gallery to MPs and other guests. 
In the evening, Charles, Camilla and other members of the royal family will give a state banquet at Buckingham Palace for the President, who will join the King in making speeches at the start of the meal. Lieutenant Colonel James Shaw, Bridge Major of Headquarters Household Division, who delivered the military ceremonial spectacle, said, The state visit is a historic first, our first state visit for His Majesty the King and the President of South Africa, the first state visit in London since 2019, the first processional state visit on horse guards since 2018, and the first for almost anyone on parade. He added, a huge amount of work has gone into preparing for the visit and we are very proud to support such an important national occasion. 